Big Pokey was a Houston native and he was a major part of the city's rap community. This evening, his family, friends and others gathered at City Hall for a celebration of life in his honor. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner shows us how Houstonians are keeping Big Pokey's legacy alive. City Hall was packed with Big Pokey's family, friends and fans. About a week ago, the Houston legend passed away while performing in Beaumont. But today, his life was honored. It's the sounds of Big Pokey. He is most known for the screwed up click, which was led and spearheaded by the legendary DJ Screw. The Houston native and legendary rapper, whose real name is Milton Powell, was remembered sure in a big way. Big Pokey went too soon, but he made something different. So Hundreds of fans packed City Hall on Sunday to celebrate the life and legacy of Big Pokey. His first full-length album, Hardest Pit in the Litter, was released in 1999. He was well known for his freestyle and was on the June 27th freestyle. Rapper Lil Kiki says Big Pokey giant. was a gentle giant. He's an athlete, he's an entertainer, but he's a gentle giant, a homebody. He's married, he got girl, he's a girl dad, so you can only imagine what kind of guy he is. So he's one of my best friends, a cook, real funny guy, sense of humor. So to see everybody come out here and celebrate his life, it means everything to me. From t-shirts, paintings, and his own peach soda, Big Pokey was surrounded by love from fans and the community. Houston Police Chief Troy Fenner says Big Pokey was always about bringing people together. He always showed me love every time I seen him. So much respect for him. And I'm so glad that the city is pausing this evening uh, to acknowledge that because uh, we lost a great brother. Uh, the industry has lost a great person, uh, but the city, but more imp most importantly, most importantly, his family. Fans say his death was tragic and unexpected, but they are making sure his legacy lives on. I feel comfortable that he died doing what he loved. He was performing. His family plans to lay him to rest next week. Reporting from City Hall, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.